the role that testosterone plays in women's bodies is similar to what it plays in a man's body. It, the testosterone being the dominant sex hormone in men, it is still produced by the ovaries and adrenal glands in women, and it is still a sex hormone, although not the dominant one. But it will still serve to improve muscle mass and thereby strength, and then help with uh, body composition, but more specifically what we're dealing with are the symptoms of testosterone deficiency. And ultimately, the symptoms are almost exactly the same between men and women. So what testosterone will do in replacement is help support those people who have testosterone deficiency symptoms like fatigue and difficulty sleeping and difficulty with cognition, difficulty maintaining a positive body mass uh, and the balance between fat and muscle and maintaining strength as well. The things that would cause a woman to have clinically low testosterone are myriad, so it's not all been identified well, and that's true for both men and women, but there can be many different things that can happen. Ovarian dysfunction is a primary source, so that means the ovaries aren't more functioning the way that they should, and so one of those things that it can fail at is the, the production of testosterone. There could be medication influences, it can be because they, there's too much body fat and there's suppression, there could be pituitary issues. So. The, the list goes on and on, but ultimately what we find are women who have a normally functioning pituitary gland and hypothalamus from what we can see on labs, and then functioning ovaries, but the balance that should be struck between testosterone and estrogen and progesterone is off. The kind of symptoms women may experience are, are again the same that you might see in a male patient too. So difficulty sleeping uh, or maintaining sleep here is really the key. Um, trouble with fatigue and this is a type of fatigue that's usually all day long and progresses as the day wears on. Irritability that climbs throughout the day. Problems with cognition. Difficulty maintaining muscle mass or building muscle mass. Trouble losing fat. These are all things that you may see with low testosterone. If a woman starts testosterone replacement therapy, the kind of results that I would expect to see are, first of all, incremental and slow. It's not going to be an overnight thing, just like it is uh, for our, our male patients and female patients alike. It's something that takes a while to develop. We want to put testosterone into the normal range, the mid-normal range, and then we want to give it time to change the way the body functions uh, back to where it should have been all along. The things you can see early on probably three to four weeks in after starting therapy, we tend to see an increase in libido. We tend to see a, an increase in energy that mainly comes from, again, maintaining sleep better. So when you are sleeping more soundly, you're going through the cycles of REM sleep more uh, steadily and more predictably. And this leads to, of course, better energy throughout the day. So those are things you start to see first. As time goes on, then uh, it really depends on what your initial symptoms were. But if you were having trouble with cognition, usually that brain fog starts to lift in the second month of therapy. These are the things that we could see with testosterone replacement. So my final thoughts on TRT for women. It's something that uh, I just want to get across to to women or female patients or people who are kicking the tires to see if this is something that's right for them. Uh, what I always recommend to anyone who's thought about testosterone replacement is to come in and just have the consultation, perhaps get labs drawn, plus or minus, but the you'll do yourself no harm by evaluating it a little bit more deeply so that we can look at exactly what you're looking for as far as symptomatic relief and that we can start with even telling you that's if you're on the right track with testosterone replacement and then of course if you take that next step to look at some labs then we have some concrete information that we can start forming a game plan around and then know for sure if this is something that is likely to help you.